everybody, it's Shanjay from Shanjay Does. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to be starting with a new project this week. I, I filmed this before and then the cats broke the microphone, so it was a completely soundless video. Yay! But <laughs> let's do this anyway. I'm going to be redoing the whole video and whole series because I did a whole series. And I think it's a worthwhile series. So I'm just going to jump in and redo this. What I'm going to be talking about is things I find inspiring, things I find passionate about. And the things I'm quite passionate about and inspired by is general geekery. I love board games, I love computer games. I generally just love geeky stuff. I'm, but I kind of feel that I don't really want to talk too much about it because that's just not my thing. Um, and then the other things I am really passionate about is illustrations. I've done quite a few illustrations on this channel. And yarn crafts and I don't actually talk about yarn crafts on this channel and I found you know the three things I'm interested in that I can comfortably talk about on my channel is yarn crafts illustration and stationery so that's the three things I'm going to be focusing on I hope you're like-minded I hope you enjoy the content I'm going to be producing and let's start talking about yarn craft now the first thing I've ever did as a yarn craft was when I was five, my grandmother taught me how to do a basic pattern of a scarf. I wish I still have it. I think she may still have it. I'll find it. I'll find out if she still has it. Started with 40 stitches and where she was helping me, it was perfect 40 stitches, a basic, normal, straight knit scarf. By the time I had finished that much of it, I had cast on an extra 40 stitches, not on purpose. I didn't know how to cast on, I just can't apparently cast, naturally would be um, able to cast on. And the scarf went from 40 stitches <laughs> to 80 stitches. Bam! Didn't work at all. So that's when I started. I knitted quite a lot till I was about 10, 12 years old, and then stopped knitting till I was about 23, 24. Just found my passion again. I mostly knit plain got stitch and stockinette stitches because I knit when I'm busy watching TV or when I'm busy studying. So I don't do anything too elaborate, but I love playing with color and I love really good tension. So I'm just gonna show you a few basic things I've knitted and a few basic things I've crocheted because I'm also going to be focusing on crochet, which I only learned how to do two years ago. And I'm going to be doing some videos where I teach you how to knit, how to crochet, how to combine them to make some really cool patterns because I don't think one should live completely in its own separate little bubble than the other one. I'm going to be using a mixture of international yarns and South African yarns because I love yarn and I'm going to be doing my best not to buy too much new yarns and use what I have. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with crochet because it's the first thing I saw. As I said, I love color. So this is a beanie I knitted myself a while back. I still had the little bubble top. I'm contemplating putting a pom-pom there, but then I think it's too much. And it's a basic urban jungle pattern from Vicky Howe. I'll link the pattern below. It is a free pattern. And what I did to change it up is instead of doing single crochet, I did a Tunisian crochet brim. But since it is her pattern, I'm not ever going to write this pattern up. All I did was a 10 stitch, 10 row stitch, a 10 stitch Tunisian crochet pattern in a variegated yarn. I have no idea what this yarn is called. I got it as a present. It didn't have the label. I don't know what it is. But if I ever find it again, I will definitely share the link with you or tell you where to go by. The other crochet pattern I think I have on me is this, this is from, this is just a basic granny cowl. I love cowl necks. You will see a lot of cowl necks if you keep following this. Um, this is two balls of Noru Creolin, crayon, crayon. Um, yarn, as you can see, super colorful. And the great thing about this is they get softer the more you work wear them. So the more you wash them, the more you wear them, the softer they get. This one I haven't actually worn yet because I finished it right at the end of winter, last winter, and it was just too hot. So I'm looking forward to this winter. And they really do get softer the more you wear them. A lot of people complain that they hurt their hands when they're busy with it. I want to say push through because I have a scarf I knitted and I don't have it with me now from a couple of years ago and it is the softest, squishiest thing. 
So really do consider if you're looking at the Norus and they're going, oh, it's too hard. They get softer with wear to the point where they're the softest thing you own. These are Japanese colored, but it's made with Australian wool. Australian wool is harder than South Africa yarn. Sorry, guys, but it takes color better. So you get the super bright colors in the Australian yarns, which is very difficult to produce in the South African yarns, especially with South African wools. But South African wools are much softer. So it depends on what you're trying to do. If it's for a baby, I would highly suggest looking at your more South African yarns. If it's for something you're going to be wearing and you want bright and bold colors, Australian yarns. Okay, then this I didn't knit. This my mom made for me a while back. My mom plays around, but she always plays around with fairly simple stitches to get cool effects. Now, this is a giant scarf. I cannot even show you the whole scarf in one shot, but it's a giant scarf. And I'm going to quickly see if I can get you to see how it's knit. It's knitted with a thicker, the one, I need to do this. The one row is knitted with a thicker needle and then the next row is done with a thinner needle. So it gives a little bit of an uneven thing. But because my mom has is probably the queen of t tension, even though she's playing with very thin yarn and very thick needles for that yarn, the tension is perfect. So the scarf is a cotton scarf, so it's great for that transition from summer to spring, not summer to spring, spring to winter or autumn to, oh, winter to spring, or autumn to um, winter. So it's just a little nice scarf that you can wrap around you. And by little nice, I mean that the scarf is about six foot long. <laughs> it's a really big scarf. My mother does not believe in small scarves. Then, this is a cowl I knitted a while back. As I told you, I like garter stitch, I like plain, even tension, but I like color. So, I'm going to do this so you can see it. I knitted it in the round. Ooh, cat clearly got hold of this. My cat eats yarn. Bad for a knitter and crochet a cat that eats yarn. So the gray is Rowan, no, not Rowan, Stylecraft, soft gray color, just normal soft gray. Then the bright colors in between, I will put the link down below. I know it's Marilyn Schipisch yarn, but I cannot remember what she calls herself. These are her happies. They're little balls of yarn. You can buy like little mini skeins. And all I did was every time I ran out of the skein, I switched yarns. So the green is a four ply. The pink is an aranet. And then that, the purple is a double knit. That's identical to the gray. The other stripe of green is also a double knit. And then I just crocheted a little rim at the tops top and bottom it goes around my neck quite loosely but i can double fold it around i'll quickly show you so this is its normal state i actually do sometimes just wear it like this all draped around it just adds an interesting effect to the collar or if it's really cold i'll just do a quick fold around and then I've got this giant, comfy, cozy, bright scarf. And because it's got the gray base, it doesn't look quite so crazy bold scarf. I'm trying to get the courage together to knit a full on Stephen West pattern. I've knitted his barnyard shawl, which I gave as a present to someone's, someone. Um, but I haven't had the guts to try any of these other ones because I haven't done brochet knitting before. I'm really looking forward to it. So maybe that will be my winter project this year is actually attempting a proper Stephen West knit. We will see. And then the last of the things I wanted to show you is a little beanie I knitted a while back. It I knitted it flat. I've since, since then learned how to knit in the round. But what I like about it, it's a basic lace stitch, which I will be showing you how to do. And you can get some really cool effects by being able to do a basic lace stitch. So I will write out the pattern for this because I made up the pattern myself. And hmm. then for fans and giggles for when I'm watching TV and I just need something to keep my hands busy, I started crocheting a blanket. <laughs> Cross started is the operative word here. 
it looks yeah looks like this it's made out of four ply yarn so it's gonna take me a while it's giant granny square what I'm trying to do is do seven rows of every color before switching I know the color combination looks a little bit crazy but when it's all together it actually does look really nice I'll show you now oh, the three loose balls so doing this I'm hoping to at least get a lap blanket out of it I have ten of every color so fingers crossed we can get a lap blanket out of it I keep it in my yarn bowl this is my yarn bowl it can take three colors but since my cat eats yarn I generally only you wind the color that I'm busy with through and this is what it looks inside <laughs> see I told you the three colors look stunning together and I love this yarn bowl um, it's handmade in South Africa so I will be putting the link of how you can get one of these in the little info box below and I'm crocheting it on a four millimeter hook I don't know what the American sizes are I will look it up at some point but it's a four millimeter hook so I'm crocheting it nice and loose so it will drape quite well it really does drape very well and it's just gonna be one of those lovely comfy soft blankies for when you're taking a nap on the couch if you're wondering how the yarns look I will put the color names below but this is how the lavender pinky oh well, it's a lavender color the lavender looks on its own it's four ply sienna rowan and then the turquoise color and then the last color is this one which i think is like a moss green i quite like it and that's it for today my next episode i'm going to teach you how to cast on your knitting and i'll be using a thicker needle so you can really see what i'm doing but that will be the next knitting episode I haven't got a full schedule yet I'm trying to figure out my full schedule and what I can actually honestly do fairly often but that will be my next episode in my yarn crafts series and that's everything for now if you like this video please like and subscribe if you're new to my channel okay. that's it for now that's everything welcome back to my channel I'm hoping to be posting more regularly and I hope you enjoyed this new series if you're new to my channel because of a YouTube algorithm, please like and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. And please share your newest and best knitting pro projects or any advice or tips you want to share with new play uh, people. I'd love it if the channel became a bit of a community. Um, if you want to show me any knitting or yarn crafts, just tag me. My tag on my tag on pretty much everything is at Chandra Does in small letters. That's Instagram, Twitter. I have a Facebook page so you can find me quite easily. And if you really want to, you can check out my website, which is www.chandraydoes.com. I hope to see you guys again soon and have a fantastic week. Bye.